Hello everybody and welcome back to Mighty Beauty Plays European vs. House 4 as Poland. And I've decided I will ally Novgorod, but not at the moment. As soon as I can next draw them into a pointless war. Declare war, when would be the next time that you join? 1567, so four more years. It's fine with me. Oh no, i the Livonian order. Nope. 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 What are you doing, Austria? Okay, so the Palestine did something crazy. Wait, the ruler of France has died without leaving direct heir. They have joined the Union with Spain, and unless we contest it, create a succession war over France. So France would be on Spain's side. And that means that Spain will call in all of his allies. So let's back down. So France is now in a personal union. And France is loyal to Spain. Great. Hmm. Sure, I'll take the technology cost. I don't plan on tacking up anytime soon. Yeah, but this is over here. This is scary. Like, look. France is under a personal union, so Spain has Portugal on its side too. Like, they are ready to kick butt everywhere. <laughs> that's like half a year up over there. <laughs> so that's something we don't want to mess with. So therefore, we shall turn our attention to Livonian order or something soon. Who declared war on who, by the way? So you declared war on Novgorod. Novgorod has tech 12 and you have tech 12. So if I was Novgorod, I think I'd be winning. But maybe not. I mean, we are going to hit Bosnia soon. So you're on the side of Austria. Bino, Tuscany, and Australia would join. Tuscany is pretty strong. Urbino is pretty strong, and Austria is pretty strong. It's probably one that I call in Lithu uh, Lithuania again. Who is at war with Chivron. Gain some more manpower. So, how is Chivron? They're defending against the Ottomans. The Ottomans haven't been doing as well as they usually would be. Iraq's been doing great though, it looks like. Oh, you're in this because of the Iraq thing. I see. Let us fabricate another claim. Also, let's cancel our mission, because I don't think that's worth it. We can just fabricate another claim on that. This old Denmark alliance doesn't seem like it's working out anymore, though. Oh, Livonia is going down. Hmm. 
<laughs> How are you winning by so much, though? No, he's trying to go against him. Gain one base tax in Berlin. Nice. I think that's just like straight up one more duck in a month. Opposed to that, though, we could ally with Sweden. Hmm. So that happened. Luckily, that means that Ur should no longer have any revolt risk. Nice. Foreign air again. Always got that issue for some reason. We're doing really well at the moment. Let's take you. I could use an extra point in Diplo. Hmm. We're at Tech 10, so it's going to be a while for our next idea. So what can we use Diplo power for? We could use it to re put down some more exhaustion if we need it. We got a ton of church power. We could culturally convert. Oh, culture map mode. So all this is accepted. All that. Polish is obviously accepted. What is not accepted is Slavonian. So which one of you has the most development? You do. A province that has separatism. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Well, that's not going to be for much longer anyways. It's kind of a part of the game, though, just sitting back a little bit. Wait, you, the Palestine. Spain would join you again, huh? Spain would join everything. Spain, this campaign, has just ran away with it all. Like, um... They own all of... Got Spanish Florida over here. Which goes all the way up into here. Followed by the fact that they own this area up here. Plus they own a lot of this, and now they have a personal union over France. And they're loyal to them. So great. England has not been doing the best. Okay, so we'll take this. Nice. I would like to pump out a few more of those if possible. Conquer Vatrakat. Vakt land. That's the property, whatever. Missionary strength plus 0.5. Good. Where is this Vat Gotland? Vat land. I clicked V for some reason. V O G A U. Gives us a claim on Saxony. Who, of course, Spain would protect. Let's take this and cancel. It's almost the end of religious turmoil. <laughs> Warzenberg, no thank you. Hmm. Kind of put in a hard place over here. I think I'm going to invite Denmark to join us next time I can. Even if they won't, because I'm kind of getting sick of them being our ally. Until 10 years. Or let them.
And that's for 10 years. Yeah, just do that. I'll take the next military idea. The 50% force limit along with the 15% morale is going to be amazing, so I need that. We do want to save from now on, though, probably for the next tech level. Because all this stuff is going to be great. Then we can upgrade all our forts and whatnot. How are our ships looking, by the way? Navies. Can you be upgraded? Okay, you no fleet ships in that fleet. Oh yeah, I gotta remember. I gotta build some more. Or uh, no, I already did. Okay. Well, let's build some buildings then. I guess it's kind of like a uh, what do we do? <laughs> Anything good that we could upgrade? Production. Nothing to the oh, we got some more manufacturing set can be built. Yeah. Gotta watch this though. These go through money like crazy. Got right, quite a few that can be upgraded like that. Upgrade some those two. As far as this though, we have Another four that can five that can be upgraded after that. What do you produce that's so good? Cloth? Nice. That's gonna make us quite a bit even more money. Like another whole duck in a month. <laughs> Buckets of those ducats. We're gaining also 8 points, 8 points, and 10 points a month, which is just great. Next guy's worse. Okay, I did not want to click that. That was some total development. Okay. I've never changed that. Yet. It's not manual change for this kind of government. That's gotta be an idea then. Superintendents. Yeah, okay, whatever. Let's take. 50 diplomatic power. New techno. Mm, I don't want to upgrade yet, though. Is there anywhere that we could culturally convert? No, because everywhere's got... Oh, you don't have separatism. Yeah, change that. It's gonna make us more money too. Nice. And it's been enough of that that we'll probably make it through. Disputed succession... as Sweden. Some team prestige, and we have 41. If that man is still available in like five years, we'll take it. Because you can get, like how Spain did over France, we can get a personal union. Still can't believe that France is loyal. Let's just improve relations, they seem to want it. Can I improve with you? Yeah. Felt like my diplomats were doing nothing. Also fabricate on Bosnia. I could declare war. I 
I guess after that claim is done, though. Still got those allies, huh? And Lithuania would now join, as long as they're not too busy, and they're not. Got a 26 stack, and a 27 stack. So you're not nearly as strong as you look. What's really going to change our whole idea plan is once we get this idea. See what I did there? Yeah. But once we get this idea, because even though expanded supply trains is not going to do much for us, it's going to give us 50% more um, land force limit as well as 15% morale, which is no shortcoming. But anyhow, though, I'd like to thank everybody for watching. I have run over time. See you in the next episode. Goodbye, everybody, and I hope you enjoyed.